don't want to show you guys too much empty crap because it's kind of all the same. Whoa. Lisa, do you have any friends here with you? Oh. Okay. What's up guys, my name is Chad. Welcome back again to another abandoned and haunted adventure. Today we find ourselves at this abandoned sanatorium. Lots of history here. The place is over 120 years old. It's been abandoned for about 50 something years now, so it's been a while. Oh, things are falling from the trees. And the building, the building is collapsing. This place has a lot of history. It was used uh, basically for hydrotherapy. Uh, back in the 1800s and all all the way through its closing in the uh, late 1900s I believe 1970 or 71 was when it closed lots of history here I'll leave a link down below that explains all the history because it's too much to go over there have been famous people here uh, during the Civil War Frederick Douglass Susan B Anthony were, did lectures here so very historical type stuff going on I actually am with Angelo still okay. traveling around there he is so we made our way, we made our way through the woods and we're gonna go inside and explore this place. Hopefully something crazy happens like it usually does. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video, leave comments, let me know if you see or hear anything throughout the video. And uh, let's remember to never be scared and get on this adventure. Let's see what we got inside. Let's go. All right guys, so uh, Angelo actually made a pretty good point. This actually, there was a fire here. Uh, I believe in the 1880s, 1882, and then they rebuilt part of it a year later and reopened. So they were close for about a year restructuring after the fire. Um, but I believe there was another fire here later, and you can see this has completely collapsed. We're trying to make our way in here. There's all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Up. Looks, it looks a little <laughs> iffy. Like, there's no, literally nothing under this. Can we actually walk on this? I mean, I would walk more to the left. Go this way, yeah. right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna maybe hold that and then just pass both cameras through. Hold on for here, right? Hold it Absolutely. Here. Oh yeah, because there's a hole right here. Yeah, exactly. So just grab on. Wow. This place is crazy. <laughs> Hold on for dear life. Yeah, I'll just actually like okay. move over here for a sec. Oh. <sighs> I think we made it. We made it. <laughs> the camera decides to go a little blurry, but yeah. It does that a lot. Look at this freaking place. This is so cool. I'm actually surprised that it's like not completely damaged. Like, there's not, you know. Oh shoot. Yo, this is a safe. This is a safe. Oh, is it? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, you're right. The you're doors right. came off of it. It had a little smaller little section on the inside. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> First thing you see when we walk in. I love like the details though. Just look around the window frames. Like you can just literally tell the age of this place. Yeah, I was reading that the guy himself, who actually the place was named after, was actually a patient here. Oh really? Yeah. Like for TV? For for uh, hydrotherapy, because he got ill and then okay. they they used the actual hydrotherapy system on him. Interesting. That it works, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you can tell there have been other explorers and people here, lots of footprints. Crazy little staircase going on here. So yeah, we got a lot going on here. It's mostly beat up and destroyed, but we're gonna make our way through. 
Let's see what we got. I heard that some of the rooms are still kind of okay. And other rooms are obviously destroyed, like the rest of it. So we'll see what we find here. Mostly rubble. God, look how big the door is for this room. I know, right? <laughs> I, was I was literally just saying, like, just how like grand and like expansive the actual building is. Like just looking down the hallway, it just looks incredible. Yeah, absolutely. There's something about it. I mean, the pillars they set up and everything. It has the style to it. It's just like, whoa. Yeah. It's so cool. Absolutely. <laughs> Architecturally very nice. Yeah, I've literally had this place on my list and just never end up in this area. I probably had it on my list for like five years. Yeah. Like one day I'll go to Jackson Sand before. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. And, uh, be able to check it out. These Fine. freaking pillars here, man. This must have been some sort of maybe recreational room or something. Yeah. Or it could have been like maybe the first floor was like administrative or something. Something, yeah. Because there was a desk there. So this once was a bathroom. It's obviously all destroyed. But look at the actual stall. It's like all wood. All wood here. Super crazy. They had hooks here for something. I don't know if you were like taking your jacket off or something to go to the bathroom, I don't know, but I don't know, kind of creepy. This is interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so it's not all destroyed. Some, some remnants are left behind here. This is just nuts to me. <laughs> this whole thing just collapsed. You gotta be careful when we go up there. It's amazing like how just the beams just up. <laughs> oh, there's a way downstairs. There's a way down. Huh? Oh, it's a bird or something? Yeah, definitely a way down right here. Is it actually like stable enough? I mean, it looks kind of manageable. Let me see. It's a little, uh, little dusty. I mean, this stair right here is gone. The stairs are actually collapsing literally right there to your left. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. I think I'm light enough to go to the right, though, and make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might try, yeah, let me see I'll, I'm going to try and go down here <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of crazy I mean, I can't imagine it would be that far of a fall And I'm like a cat, I always land on my feet Let's see what we got down here We also got to be careful because uh, Whoa I mean, I don't think anyone's here, but holy crap, this is creepy down here. Wow. Huh? Oh, yeah? Yo, I, it's creepy as hell down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If the stairs weren't too bad. You just got to stay to the right if you want to come down. But yeah, holy crap, you guys. So, yeah, this is like the first sanatorium in the history of the United States. So, very old, very historical. Obviously, it's old because it's falling apart. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Okay, that was really weird. That was so loud and it came from in here. I don't know if it was just something falling. Okay, yeah, that was creepy as hell. It's very, very on edge down here, especially like when you're in the basement of some place alone. Super duper crazy. Already hearing sounds. 
Uh, not, I don't know what to make of this. I'm a little bit on edge here. But we're still going to do it because we're never scared. I don't think anyone would be down here. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, yeah, you could tell this was on fire. Yep. This was definitely on fire. Look at this. They didn't even bother trying to fix any of this at all. above oh, that doesn't look too safe at all it was all part of the fire that they had down here or basically this whole building <laughs> was lit on fire you could tell super crazy what are these right here like old tables it's kind of creepy I really don't know what to make of this what what room was this Look at this thing. It's like an old bench or something. Oh, wow. I wonder if they use this. This this actually looks more later, like recent. I don't think they use this on anybody in the actual place. But, yeah, super duper creepy, man. Holy cow, is this creepy. Oh, maybe this was like medication or medical because look at the window. Look at the window on it. And look, this is all burned up too here. But this is like a little window, probably for medication. And back here, maybe this was some sort of uh, doctor's area or something. Actually, there's another window there. Yeah, this is crazy. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, it doesn't even go down that far. <laughs> I always get excited when I see holes because who knows where the hell it goes to. So what was this thing? Because look at all the, the sockets for the bulbs going in there. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. <laughs> all this old stuff, it always gets me because I don't even know what they used it for. Look at this. There's more sockets. Oh, there's like switches here. I don't know why I switch them on. It's obviously not going to work, but yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. Let me know what this is, guys, in the comments, because I don't even know what they would have even used this for. Yeah, so you could see, like, ashes here <laughs> from the fire. Looks like they came from the ceiling. That's brick there. I kind of don't feel safe down here because this really could collapse at any time. The rest of the building is pretty much collapsing. And this is all just like ash right here. Burnt ash. I don't know, man. It's definitely creepy down here for sure. Huh. So we got back here. Oh, oh, look at this crazy desk. What the hell? Yeah, okay, I don't know. Probably one of the patients had this in their room at one time or something. I don't know. Very old though, beat up. This is a creepy little room over here. What the heck is back here? Oh, this is a bathroom, or it was a bathroom at one point. Wow, look at how destroyed it is. Holy crap, the toilet's actually not that destroyed, but God, the sink is done for. Wow, man, this place is really, really, really beat up. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed down here. What the heck is this thing?
Oh, okay. I was wondering if that was him because I see some sort of light. Oh, that is him. It's got to be him. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this is here. Some sort of electrical box of some sort. Still wires hanging in there. Whoa. Hello? What the hell was that? There's definitely nobody here because I walked through this whole area. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been hearing a few sounds here and there. Yeah, dude, I heard something from over here. Did you? Yeah, that back room. What did you hear? I don't know, like a banging sound? Oh, this was where all the fire was. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, walls, yeah this whole area, everything it's back there is all charred. It's crazy that it's still standing. It's funny because there's another stairwell back that way. That's <laughs> was it I'm safer thinking. than that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Damn it. <laughs> uh, it's not like the safest, but at least we know we have two options. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's the, uh, the bonus. Uh, you know, I gotta take the, uh, the hard way. Anything uh, interesting down this way? Not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I it's, it's destroyed. Everything's all charred up. Oh, yeah. The elevator is actually still there on the first floor. <laughs> no, no way. It's actually pretty cool because it's like the oldest abandoned elevator ever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's neat. Wow. Pretty cool place though. Yeah, it's too bad it's so beat up, you know? I know, but you know, 51 years, right? Yeah, exactly. What are you going to do? Oh, there's still like stuff in here. What the hell? Oh, the elevator is there. Look at that. I think I should touch these wires. They're probably not working. Boom. Okay. I didn't get electrocuted. All right. So we... Huh? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised been hearing a few different sounds in here already but like with these old buildings that's what you get man creaks and cracks and maybe even some ghosts who the hell knows but yeah just a lot of empty rooms I mean I don't want to show you guys too much empty crap because it's kind of all the same whoa You know what's so funny? When Angelo, I was down there, he was over here, and he said he heard something behind him before we met up with each other, and I just was walking this way and I heard something behind me. He do that again? Dude, it is so creepy down here. Oh, look at this old bed, man. Old beds are always cool to see. Because you got to think about patience once being in this bed right here. Even though it's old and crappy looking now, at one time there was a patient laying in this. Or several patients over time. <sighs> man. I'm kind of amazed that they would just leave all this instead of trying to actually remove some of it or do something with the building because it's such a cool freaking building, man. 
1800 style so historical and just the architecture is amazing on this place but not too much left behind here oh god the silence is so eerie man It's just so eerie standing in a place like this, like just being alone inside of a basement of the oldest sanatorium in history or in the United States history. I hear something coming from outside. It, keep, it keeps sounding like someone is driving up here. I don't even know if that's possible. We walked through the woods to get here. And even if there was like a security person, like I don't even know where they would come from. I don't think there is anyway, because this place is just ridiculously destroyed. I don't even think they would care. Okay. So continuing on this way. Just a lot of empty rooms. Maybe when we go upstairs. Oh, what were these? Showers? These had to have been showers. I would imagine. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, but obviously destroyed. I don't know what this room was. Or whatever happened, I don't know. Wow. What is this right here? What the heck is going on with this thing? Is this like an old sauna? Or maybe it had something to do with the water hydrotherapy that they were using here. Do you know what this machine is? What machine? This one. Oh, it's like a fridge. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I was... I was wondering that too, but I was also wondering if it had something to do with like the water therapy that they were doing. Mm, I don't think so. But I don't know. It looks too small for that. You could kind of tell that there was glass in the front. Yeah. To me, it honestly just kind of looks... If it opens like from a the fridge? Back, yeah, see? This just would have been a display fridge. Yeah. So, have you ever been to like a, like a butcher shop? Yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm like pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because this would have like opened and you would have been able to grab the customer or whatever they wanted. Huh. Alright. You wanna head upstairs? Yeah, let's scrap it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too much work for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go up. Cool. So guys, I found this little tiny tiny stairway and look where it goes. Absolutely nowhere. Cause this entire thing caved in right here literally can't even go in here i would imagine it's just a small room anyway before the collapse but this is actually i might not even want to stand here because if it collapses on me i'll probably die so yeah this is really weird but a lot of this building is like this just falling apart collapsed been through fires and 50 years of abandonment will destroy it you know what is this? Dude, this has like a sliding door on it. Oh, it doesn't even move. I wonder what's in here. I don't know if that was him. Again, I just heard something behind me. It sounded like somebody walking. But yeah, this is just a little back corner. Oh yeah, this was probably like a back door. 
you know, to the outside or whatever. So guys, we have managed to find the kitchen area. All sorts of old ovens and stuff left in here. All destroyed, obviously. But look at all this crazy stuff, man. Unbelievable. Look at these old burners. Look at this. Holy crap. This is really old. I don't know if they ever tried to come in here later and try to fix it, but I don't think they did because it's obviously really beat up. This is like an old uh, oven. Some sort of pizza oven or oven type thing. Pretty cool. But yeah, super beat up over here. This is an old fridge. Sorry for the uh, graffiti guys. But yeah, this is an old fridge here. So freaking crazy that they would just leave all this. Is this open still? Wow, all wood too. Kind of strange. We are now on the second floor actually. That looks like another old refrigerator. They ripped the doors off of it. It's kind of creepy looking, but man, <laughs> this place is just, it's massive and there's all kinds of crazy stuff left behind in here. This, this was, I guess, where they prepared the food, like the kitchen area still. Like they would cook the stuff over there. This, this looks like more like a prep area or something. What do we got going on here? Oh, crazy old tank. <laughs> it's nuts that they boarded everything up and then there's just a wide open bunch of bricks that fell. <laughs> you could just walk right in. Like, why even bother boarding anything? Unless they did that before, but I don't think they did. Oh, wow. Damn, it keeps going up too. Look at all these stairways. <laughs> Yeah, you could hear people working off in the distance. Yeah. Oh, you could see cars from the road. But yeah, we're literally like in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Crap. Also, stand here. You gotta be super careful up here. Wow. This must have been uh, patient rooms, maybe? Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah. See what happens here, but holy crap, dude. I just want to be super careful because this place is falling apart. This is wood. I think there is brick underneath it. You gotta be super duper careful in here, man. This place is absolutely insane. Oh, here's a better view of the outside. Look at this, all brick right here. I'll try to get you some outside shots. But yeah. Crazy. I wonder how they drove up here. I mean, that trail must have been accessible in the past. That's down there, that trail. It's obviously not accessible now. But, let's see what else we got going on up here. I'm trying to walk slow, you guys, and be super careful because this is falling apart. And I think I am inside the patient room area. And there's another floor above this. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> this may be possibly the most destroyed place I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of places. But this, this might take the cake right here. Is there like a body in here? Hello? Oh no, it's just a rug. Okay, thank God. 
I wouldn't be surprised if somebody came out here to dump a body. But yeah, there's the back. Oh, look at that, dude. There's like a freaking old shack just sitting right up there in the woods right there. Huh. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. Like, it's just so beat up, decrepit, completely unsafe. I would recommend if you were new at this to not just come inside one of these buildings and start doing this because it's definitely dangerous. But yeah, this is more like a patient hallway right here. <laughs> yeah, so patient rooms. Let's go check out this craziness over here that fell apart wow man you can tell people have been here kind of recently because look at them footprints big footprints too man somebody's got some big feet yeah so this side of the building completely collapsed this might have been what we saw earlier that collapsed over here holy crap I don't know if that was part of the fire. Oh man, this room does not feel safe whatsoever. Oh my God, dude, look at that. Look at that. That's like all completely destroyed right there. And then this over here is just kind of hanging on. Looks all burnt up. Wow. <laughs> Not going that way. Well, there's just a wide open opening right here. Oh, this is where it collapsed. Holy crap. Used to be yeah. <laughs> Keyword used to be. Man, dude pipes hanging there and everything. This is completely crazy. I think there might be even more above that one. <laughs> I guess this is just more patient rooms over here. I mean, not much left behind here. The kitchen was kind of cool with some of the ovens and stuff left behind, but not too much left here. But still a pretty cool building, nonetheless. A lot of graffiti. So, they tagged this place up. But still, lots of history here. The way they designed it was cool. Can I go in here? No? Well, I don't think I'm seeing much anyway. Other than an empty room. But still, this, this was... Freaking cool. Oh, I'll show you this. Over here, if I can actually get into this room here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Were you doing a sacrifice here? What was going on? Look at that guy. Cool spray paint job. But yeah, look, there's a little balcony here. I don't want to go too far out. I'm not even going to really step on it, but look. And there's some on the other side too. So some of these rooms had these little balconies right here. And uh, obviously all old and rusted now, but still cool. So we decided to come back and try a little like mini investigation to see if this place actually is haunted. Uh, we both actually did hear some noises coming from downstairs, so it's very possible. Uh, and we're gonna see what we got up here. We actually came back to this like main area. This is like the front door and the main entrance to the building. Or at once was the front door right here. So we're gonna see if we got anything going on here. Mr. Jackson, are you still here? Turn that this way. You know what Mr. Jackson's first name is? Oh, God, I, I'd have to look it up. I don't remember. 
to the prominent person, I think, obviously, me and Sam Stewart in that case. So. What? What was that? Did you say, like, inside or something like that? Let me turn this up. Can you say that again? Whoever we're talking to, there's a device there on the stairs. It's got a little red light on it. If you could maybe go to it and touch it, put your hand close to it so we know you're here. Do you remember there being a fire here? It's going off. It's going off. No. No. I don't know if I caught it. I don't know if I caught it. Probably caught it on my camera. It went to it went to blue. Oh really? Yeah. So that's like really close proximity to it now. Alright, so. Yeah, most likely, you probably caught that. Most that worked? On there. That worked? Yeah. What the hell? Alright. It worked. Thank you for doing that. Now, if you do want to communicate with us. Did you just hear a banging sound? I thought I heard that too. If you do want to communicate with us, could you maybe touch it one more time and make it go off the blue again? It'll work, I promise. What kind of therapy were they giving you here? Water? Which would make sense. It looks like a okay. mineral water. Yeah, too. Right? Okay. There's legs. How many? Whoa! How many people passed away in the building? We need help. I think it said. Can you make that REM pod go off again, right where that red light is? There's somebody down that hallway? What was Mr. Jackson's first name? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy the hydrotherapy?
Oh, look, 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 look. Are you on the stairs? Yes. They went up. They're right there. Can we get your knees? Oh. Hey Lisa, is that you? If that's Lisa, we could go up again. Lisa. That's it, it just said Lisa. Lisa. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Well, you're welcome. I guess you enjoy the company. You don't get too many visitors, huh? Lisa, how many years did you stay here? A lot. A lot? A lot. How many is a lot? Give me a number, please. Did you ever get to meet Mr. Jackson? Maybe. So like 1920 maybe? Or I asked how many years did you stay here? That could be it too. Yeah. I don't know. Did you die from tuberculosis? Were you here during the original fire? Lisa, do you have any friends here with you? Oh. Okay. Oh, well, we know you're over by that area. Is that because it gives you the water? I think it actually works for the water. <laughs> that could be it. Because they wanted to drink. Did you hear Yeah, they, they probably went right for the water there. I got no problem sharing. Sharing is sharing. Was that you going for the water, Lisa? Do you like the color blue? Is that why you went for that color? I think blue means 
Crossover? Crossover. You need help crossing over. Oh, oh no. It's creepy. Alright, well, I'll say a prayer, prayer for you after I'm done making this video. And hopefully it'll help you move on. You don't need to stay here anymore. There's no reason to be afraid. There's a lot of open doors and windows. You can exit the building at any time. All right, guys, so uh, pretty interesting investigation. We're going to end this off. Me and Angela are going to head to another location. Uh, let me know if you saw or heard anything during the video. Leave comments below. Uh, go and subscribe to Angelo. Obviously, he's around and he's the best. So, uh, the best. you're the best. Okay, you're the best. But definitely subscribe to Chizza Chad. Oh. Or else, no pizza for you. Yes, no pizza for no you. Pizza. No pizza. And we're cooking it right in those pizza ovens over there. <laughs> so, uh, make sure to leave comments below. Uh, always remember to never be scared. And we're going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.